there, let's talk about fallacies. A logical fallacy is an invalid argument based on faulty reasoning. There are lots of different types of logical fallacies, and I'll be discussing one today. But first, have a look at this video clip here. Pero meron din tayo mga rules ngayon na dapat ay sinunod. Siguro maganda sanang pahiwatig ang paggalang din sa batas at paggalang din sa mga naging regulasyon. Pero para sa akin, importante na sana nakadalo siya sa Senado para mag-explica rin ng kanyang punto kung wala naman talagang tinatago. Alam mo, pinag-uusapan natin ang rule of law, ha? Eh, lagi mo sinasabi, ikaw eh, na yung Pilipino. Oh. Ah? Oh, to. Paano ka magiging tunay na Pilipino ay eh, sumumpa ka ah, na maging Amerikano at oh, yung mag-a-abjure ka, ikinahihiya mo ang pinanggalingan mo? Paano mo nasabi na kinahihiya? Unang the clip was taken from the second presidential debate. Senator Grace Poe was commenting on Vice President Pinay's response regarding corruption charges against him and his son. In her statement in the clip, the senator indirectly questioned the integrity of her opponent when it comes to abiding by the rule of law, that is, regarding corruption. Instead of taking this implied criticism head-on, the vice president turns it back to the senator by calling into question her supposed breaking of the rule of law issue regarding her citizenship and nationality. Vice president implicitly proposed that the senator is in no position to be criticizing him in the matter because she, herself, is guilty of a similar claim. This is an example of the logical fallacy known as to quo que or to quo qui, also called the appeal to hypocrisy. The usual structure of the fallacy goes like this. A certain person A makes claim X about person B. Person B then points out that claim X is also true for person A. Therefore, claim X is irrelevant or false, and A is a hypocrite. This type of reasoning fails or refuses to address the argument presented, and instead, shifts the focus on the perceived hypocrisy of the opponent. Whether or not person A is guilty of claim X should be irrelevant to the validity of her argument. In the earlier clip, the vice president is our person B guilty of committing the fallacy. He not only managed to dismiss the claim against him, but also successfully derailed the heat of the debate towards his opponent. By doing so, he no longer had to defend himself. He shifted on the offensive and compelled Senator Poe to take the defensive position. This may seem like it's an easy way out, but just remember that when you do this, you commit a logical fallacy.